Christmas Eve, there was a little girl named Laura who was looking at her book of Mother Goose tales. As she turned the pages, she began to wonder what they did in the land of Mother Goose on Christmas Eve. Did little Bo Peep still look after her sheep? Did Simple Simon go to the fair? Just the same? She wished and wished that she could see for herself. After all, it was Christmas Eve. And she stared so hard at the little house of Wee Willie Winkie that it began to look real. Oh, there is Wee Willie Winkie running through the town, upstairs and downstairs, in his nightgown. Why, that's the pieman. And Simple Simon, looking in that store. Christmas spree. Mmm, -hmm. strawberry milkshake. Shake one up for me. Then Mother Goose's sweet shop disappeared, and instead there was a wood. It 
was only a candy heart put there by the little boy who had made him. But on it were the most wonderful words, I love you truly. Every night, when the thermometers had struck the magic degree of 12, all the town's snowmen gathered in the park. The littlest snowman heard their tingling voices and followed his ears till he came to the place where the other snowmen were playing. Some of the snowmen were having a game of darts with icicles. Nine of the thinnest snowmen were playing snowball against nine of the fattest snowmen. snowman was feeling a little bashful until a big snowman cried, What have we here? Who are you? I'm a snowman, said the littlest snowman, and I was made by a little boy named Tommy, who lives down the road. Just then, all the snowmen noticed a bright light in the sky. It can't be morning, said one. See, it's only three by the clock. Then a very old and wise snowman spoke and said, that light is a fire. said the littlest snowman. Let's go and see whose house it is. All the other snowmen were so surprised, their cold black eyes popped out. Then one snowman cried, Don't you know what fire does to snow? We'd all melt before our time. Hurry, let's go home. Only the littlest snowman went straight to the fire. When he got there, his candy heart sank. The house was Tommy's, the little boy who had made him. Oh, dear me, he squealed and ran to the nearest fire alarm box, but his snow arms were too soft to pull the handle. He tried to ring the bell in the church, but though he jumped and jumped, he could not reach it. In despair, he made a lot of snowballs and ran down the street, throwing them through every open window. One of the windows was the mayor's, and the snowball hit the sleeping mayor right on the nose. Soon, angry people came running to chase the littlest snowman, and he led them right to the fire. The roof of the house was now all in flames, and the little boy, Tommy, was in the upstairs window. Jump, Tommy, said the littlest snowman, and his arms were so soft that it was like dropping into a feather bed. The littlest snowman collapsed from the heat and the mayor called, Quick, give this hero the best first aid. He was
was rushed in an ambulance to the coldest freezer of the ice cream plant. The next day, the mayor made a speech. Everyone contributed so that a statue could be made of the littlest snowman. And so the statue was placed on a pedestal in the park for everyone to see. And that was the end of Laura's wonderful visit to Fairyland on Christmas Eve.